Hi everyone, I'm Dan. I'm just going to take you through the basics of using all the deformers that are available in the Super Deformer Pack. Um, okay, so the deformers are Sphere Wrap, Scroll Roll, Impact, and Twirl. And uh, uh, Sphere Wrap, Scroll Roll, and Impact are available individually as well. If I scrub through the timeline quickly, you can kind of get a quick idea of what each of the deformers do to your geometry. At first when you install the plugin you can get to them in the plugins menu and they'll show up in deformer pack here. Um, but if you want them to show up in your toolbar like this you just have to right click on the toolbar, go to customize palettes, you can start typing in the name of the uh, plugin in the filter uh, field there and then you drag them in to the toolbar like that. Um, just remember to save your layout once you've finished uh, once you've finished editing those toolbars. Okay so to start with uh, we'll have a look at sphere wrap. So first up I'll just do a quick comparison with the built-in wrap deformer because that can also turn your geometry into a sphere. So on the left I've got C4D's built-in wrap deformer and on the right is Curious Animals Sphere Wrap. Okay, I'll just turn them both on. So you can see straight away there's a couple of differences but the, the main thing that you want to worry about is the, uh, the difference between the pinch points. So if I turn on these cylinders you can see at the top of the built-in one you've got this pinch point here where all the geometry gathers and the same thing happens towards the bottom of the sphere like that. Uh, so uh, that's not evident straight away in the curious animal one. It, it does still happen if I drag this out to a full sphere like this and then we go around to the back we can see there is still one pinch point towards the back so it's just that single one where all the geometry gathers towards there. Uh, so that's the main difference between the two. So let's just concentrate on the uh, Sphere app for now. It takes your flat geometry within this disk and bends it around the sphere. You can control how far away, how far around the sphere your geometry goes. You can control the radius of your sphere and you can control the size of the source and all of that has an effect on the deformation. Alright, so the next one is Scroll Roll. Scroll Roll is designed to roll your geometry up like a, like a carpet or a roll of paper. I'm going to show you on this, on this thinner cube so we can get a better idea of what's going on. Um, so using the strength you can control how far your, uh, your roll goes. You can control the inner, inner radius and you can control the thickness of the, the sheet that you're rolling along with the height here and the size attributes so that way you can create a, a tighter or a looser roll. You also have these modifiers so you can change the radius and the thickness over the width of the deformer. So if I do that with the radius and create a curve in here, you can see how that is influencing the radius over the width there. Okay, so I'll delete that and then we can have a look at the thickness curve. Which does a similar thing, except now this one's working with the thickness, but the internal radius is constant. So you can get some different effects this way. Now let's move on to the next one, which is Impact. Alright, Impact makes makes ripples around any kind of spline that you specify. By default it'll start off with just this circle and you can 
change the progress of the animation here so it starts from nothing then your ripples will grow out they'll eventually fade out and end at nothing as well uh, so to make you put your own custom spline in you just have to drag it into the spline setting there and now we've got the ripple uh, generating from this spline that we've specified there's a few settings in here you can change so how far the ripples will spread how many ripples you have and uh, the the width and and height you can use these curves to change the width and height over the uh, over the different ripples so you can start off with thicker ripples and end with and with thinner ones or similarly you can end start with high ripples and with lower ones uh, the the lean setting causes the top of the ripples to spread out further than the bottom of the ripples and we've also got the option to have uh, all of those settings be modified by the the angle of the uh, impact to the geometry that it's affecting so now the strength over here away from the impact is higher than it is towards the direction of the impact alright so let's move on to the next thing which is attach fall off to null so all of these deformers have fall off tabs but when you turn them on uh, by default they're attached to the same position as your deformer uh, so to move your fall off uh, you have to move your deformer which isn't always what you want um, so we've also got a tag called attach fall off to null which works on all the curious animal deformers you just have to make a null drag it into the null field of the tag and now you your now your fall off is moves around with this null instead okay so for the scroll roll we can kind of make it look a bit like a wave with the linear fall off like that and finally we've got the twirl deformer I've saved twirl to last since it's a bonus one that's only included in the super deformer pack and I'm gonna start again with a quick comparison between uh, the C4D's built-in twist and Curious Animals twirl on the right if I turn them both on you can see that twist uh, works by rotating your geometry depending on how high up it is whereas twirl rotates in a spiral based on how far away it is from the center yeah, I'll turn off twist for now and twirl uh, you can change how far you're rotating into a spiral you can control as well whether you're twirling from the center or the outside to give a you can get a slightly different effect this way you can control the width of the source and you can give yourself a tapered tapered edge in there those are all the deformers from the super deformer pack so that's the sphere wrap, scroll roll, impact and twirl there's a lot more information in the manuals for each of them about how to use all the different settings um, and there's demos available so you can have a go of them uh, they're available at www.curiousanimal.tv I hope you enjoy Thanks.